Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the uh, super important question of the module 1 of SATP which is regarding the object oriented development and the key concepts in the object oriented design. So uh, what are the uh, key concepts? Uh, there are totally 7 co uh, key concepts and in the object oriented development here you have to take it from the starting where the first computers were introduced and you have to take it eventually to why uh, there was a need for object oriented development. That constitutes of the whole mark so make sure hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and without wasting any more time let's get started. So uh, uh, what the question can expect uh, is like um, this kind define object oriented development and its key concepts okay first you have to define what is object oriented development where did object oriented development came the concept from first computers were developed okay and those could not uh, solve complex problems as time went the prob problems became complex so it was very hard to solve the complex problems and uh, the first computers were not able to do that so there was a need to uh, make some changes and develop something that could be able to solve the uh, problems so software application developed in the later years had two differentiating characteristics one is of the behavior and second is of the requirements of the reliability performance and the cost okay because of these two things the software applications were developed and uh, the at the initial stages what was developed is a top to down approach we will be having the functions from the top to down in the process wise order what is the disadvantage is that uh, in that we will be having to decompose the main function into many different uh, sub modules and uh, structures to store the data was uh, defined and it was carried out which it is just a brief information about how it uh, was working and the main disadvantage comes here the life of a process centered design was short because the changes to the process specification require a change in the entire program if you just have to change the small part of the program you have to change the entire program for its uh, smooth working okay so that was one of the disadvantage in the process centered approach so engineering disciplines soon started and uh, the disciplines of software design and the software engineering came into existence so the reasons for this success was easy to see at least three you have to write the first is easily understandable things similar or the solutions for a host of different problems and it was easily accessible and well defined okay and what are the key concepts of the object oriented design the second half of the question let's have a look the first is the central role of objects you have to remember in this way there is an object in between this is having a central role and object cannot exist without a class so the second thing is the notion of a class now the class and object is present and you have to do some functionalities whatever the inner functions you do which call function you're calling what are the uh, things getting changed which memory location it is getting stored all these things should not be visible to the user so there should be some abstract specification of functionality right after that we have to uh, have a language that will define the whole system and there should be some standard solutions which we'll be using and there should be a process which will be analyzing to model a system and the last one is the notions of extendability and adaptability extendability means uh, making something more um, it should be applicable in more situations and ad adaptability means you will be having one situation and you have a process uh, defined for that solution and you have a slightly different environment in that environment it should be able to adapt and solve those problems that was the main key concepts of, about the object oriented design that's all make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one